One of the fun things of having a YouTube channel, at least for me, is to be able to go back in time and relive some fun moments, see myself younger, and of course cringe over my past work. But as a whole, I love the experience, especially now, knowing that some of you will show up every week and I can share these moments with you. Simple, stripped down photo shoot, just me, the model, my camera, sometimes one light, sometimes just the sun. Far from museums, far from castles, far from all these fancy places I usually shoot in. And to be honest, I shoot more in ugly, common places than you think. This is the truth, this is more the typical kind of shoot, kind of sessions that I do on a regular basis. Nothing fancy, just me and my camera, sometimes one flash, and of course my clients or my model of the day, depending if I'm shooting for fun or for work. You can do really cool images with very little, and that's exactly what we did a few months ago in Lyon. When my environment isn't great, I usually try to shoot near textured wall or bushes or trees or any element that I can incorporate to use in my shot. Using a tight, long focal length, tight, long focal lens, you get it. It helps me, it helps me isolate my model and it also helps me avoid all the ugly stuff that I don't want in my shot. Shoot through things, shoot near things, add a little bit of texture in your shots in the foreground or in the background. Having these elements helps giving depth, depth to your image. This is going to be a hard one to shoot. Jessica and I have worked together in the past already, so we got to work really fast. And that morning, the sun was playing hide and seek with us. So I brought my brown color flash and it helped me balance my shots and compensate with the lack of light. Like 
And unfortunately, I have to interrupt this video right here because this photo shoot was great up until this point. I don't have any footage to show you because what happened uh, I wanted to make a few images with Jessica in the water and of course with the help of my Broncolor Flash. Like I said earlier, I was alone. I didn't have an assistant that day. It was windy that day. I had to work fast and we even joked about that time in 2016 when my Flash fell headfirst into the ocean. You see where I'm going. My Broncolor Flash fell partially in the water. I had my GFX 100 in one hand, jumped towards my flash, grabbed it by the light stand with my left hand. Both of my hands were full, so I had to land on something. So it was, it had to be my elbow. My half of my body smacked the concrete floor. It hurts. My model reached out to me. I give her the GFX 100. It took me about five seconds to get up, to pull half of my flash out of the water, and that's where it stopped. I tried to dry my gear with anything that I had at my disposal, packed up, rushed to my friend's apartment, and with a hairdryer tried to save what could be saved. And long story short, like any professional, I had to prepare myself for my second shoot of the day that happened a few hours later. And this is the reason why the following images were made with only natural light. day. I can laugh about it now because it was a few months ago and I had time to digest all, all of this. I was really mad at myself for taking such risks with my, with my gear. I guess that now I learned my lesson. And when looking at the images, I think they're pretty good knowing that I wasn't at my best that afternoon. I really want to thank Jessica for her support her understanding that morning and for that short session that we had. And of course, Lorian, thank you also for understanding my strange mood that afternoon. So this is why I always want at least one assistant with me because I do this kind of dumb things. Huh, this will never happen to me again. So please guys, don't do stupid things like I do. Take care of your gear. Be careful, and if you're all alone, then don't set up a heavy flash on a tiny tripod like me.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here again this week. I guess I will see you all in the next episode. But until then, please stay safe and have a good one. By the way, my flash still works. Oh,